when they learned a gunman was on school grounds trying to enter Hammock's Middle School. A security guard here at the school spotted the gunman and asked him to leave. And though the man left peacefully, he did say he would return. He hasn't, and police are still searching for him. I think people are wondering what happened to this gentleman who um, apparently came to the school. Like, is he still roaming around? The Marinette police wouldn't comment on camera, but they did say the investigation is ongoing and that they're actively looking for the man described as 50 to 55 years old with an Irish accent, wearing a black North Face jacket and white V-neck shirt. There should always be security. Police present here at Hammock's Middle School, as District Spokeswoman Debbie Mineta says, they're considering emergency resolutions. When asked about having police presence inside the school, she told me, quote, every option is being considered. This woman has a child that attends Central Elementary School and says it's needed. It's a good thing. I think that if they weren't there, <clears throat> parents would complain. And parents are also going to complain if they are there because it seems to put a fear in all the parents and all the children. But they shouldn't fear it because the police are there to protect them. Now, there will be a school board meeting tonight, and parents and community members can attend, but it's not open for public comment. Parents can come in on January 22nd, the next scheduled meeting, and discuss in length the security measures that are being implemented. But for tonight's meeting, the point of agenda is really just to approve all the security measures mentioned. At Hammocks Middle School in Larchmont, Am Priscilla Hassan, News 12. All right, Aunt Priscilla, thank you for that. Meanwhile, we should note that other school districts throughout Westchester County are also reviewing their own security procedures in the aftermath of the Connecticut shooting, but they're stopping short of putting armed police officers in the schools, at least for now. News 12's Grace Noon continues our Team 12 coverage from the newsroom with that part of the story. Grace. Janine, the superintendent of the White Plains School District told me today that safety of his students has always been a priority and will remain so. They are reassessing ways to keep the kids safe, but for now there are no plans to put armed police officers in any of the White Plains schools. It is the world's second largest country. Fifth graders at the Church Street Elementary School in White Plains get a lesson in geography. Since the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School, districts have gotten some hard life lessons and are focusing on their students. We take security very seriously. We work very closely with our police department and the mayor's office. We've been virtually in daily contact since the tragedy in Connecticut. In White Plains, there's a district-wide safety plan. Superintendent Christopher Clouet says police visit schools regularly, but right now doesn't have plans to bring them into school buildings on a full-time basis. There will be increased presence in our parking lots and around the neighborhoods around the schools, but not um, specific daily um, presence in the schools. Clouet says you'll find security guards at White Plains Middle and High School and checkpoints at the five elementary schools. Principal Darrell Stinchcom wants parents to feel at ease. We have procedures in place and the parents are aware of it. We talk about it constantly. We talk about, you know, our school rules and following the school rules and how that, you know, transfers into a day-to-day -day, you know, society. Visitors can only enter the Church Street School through one door. Then they have to stop at this window, sign in, and get a visitor's pass. Only then can they enter another set of doors and go inside. In Yonkers, Westchester's largest school district, high school students are subject to random security checks. Police officers are no longer in the buildings because of budget cuts. There are safety officers or buzzers at the entrances of school buildings. We're also told the head of security in Yonkers works with individual schools to review their... Look how long all this school stuff was. It feels like... All right, Grace, thank you very oh, much. And it's, okay, so it's only like four, four and a half minutes. Tragedy. Here we go again, though. Is calling for stricter gun control laws. <sighs> Elliot Engel says it is time for sensible gun control legislation, and he adds everybody's got a politics. He's been in Congress, but Engel says he's not it's optimistic so lawmakers will take any action on the controversial Dude. issue this year. He says assault rifles especially need to be taken off the streets. When the founding fathers put in the Second Amendment, there is no way they could have imagined. What does he think? That's clever. Automatic weapons. They do not belong in the hands of the average person, and they certainly do not belong in the hands of people who. Why is he acting so incensed, so dramatic? Whatsoever. 
Like he's gonna wet his pants. Says because of powerful gun lobby groups like the NRA, it has been difficult so far to pass stricter gun control laws. So the News 12 question of the day, do you think Congress will pass stricter gun control legislation this year? Tell us your opinion at Channel 612 or click on our website, news12.com. So far, question. only 28% of you say yes, you do believe Congress will pass gun control measures. This is like inciting no, they won't do problems. About it. And stupid conversation. Politics, like everybody's supposed to be thinking the same thing. Now the issue of Congress and gun control is also generating a God. lot of buzz on our News 12 Facebook pages. Sharon Ann writes, this is quote, going on six they will minutes. play politics and there will be more school shootings. But James N. writes, hope not. Good citizens need the right to protect themselves. I guess if to, any of this is insightful. Now here in New York, politicians are also taking sides on new proposals to crack down on guns in the state. Governor Andrew Cuomo continues to push for a more specific assault weapons ban in New York. State Republicans, though, want to increase penalties for illegal gun possession. Cuomo says their measures don't go far That's enough. Cool, huh? The governor is expected so to talk about his gun proposal in the state of the state so address tomorrow, to which you can see live it. right here on News 12. The governor's address is expected to begin at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. News 12 will have special live coverage of the address right here beginning at 1.30. We'll also have our cameras in Albany for Team 12 coverage of the governor's speech. This is seven minutes of gun stuff. <laughs>